Cadillac to bring you to this really fancy restaurant that he made reservations for. And when you got there, he had flowers for you. But shortly after, he just said he had to leave. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and, he did, and he didn't give you any reason. He just left and you haven't heard from him. No. And I'm like, kind of worried. You know, like, I hope he's okay. okay. Me too. Me too. All right. You're going to be listening in. I'm going to put you on hold. We're going to call Lorenzo. Hold on. This is an easy one. He had an emergency. Hopefully everything's okay. They're going to go on a second date, fall in love, yeah, have babies, or have babies, then fall in love, or maybe, whatever. However, maybe he's a doctor. Do <gasps> mm. Hello? Hello, is Lorenzo there? Uh, yes, this is Lorenzo. Hello, Lorenzo, this is Courtney. Hey, dog, what's up? It's Walmart Jeff. Uh, we're calling from KISS 95.7. Uh, You're on the radio. Oh, wonderful. I I've listened to you before. I love your show. Thank you. I appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. You sound very formal this morning. Anyway, um, Lorenzo, thank you for listening. So hopefully you know what Second Date Update is all about. That's when somebody calls us. They went on a first date, but they get ghosted and they want answers. So that's why we're calling you, Lorenzo. We want you to tell us about this first date you had with a girl named Abby. You ghosted her, I think she said within 10 minutes of the date, as soon as she got there. And she hasn't heard uh, from you. We want to make sure everything's yeah, so okay. Yeah. Are you okay? Uh, yes, uh, uh, thinking back on it, unfortunately, uh, Abby was just not quite up to standards, so... Wait, wait, Lorenzo, wait, so you sent her an Uber Black, you gave her flowers and you left because she wasn't, I don't understand, like, up to your standards, I don't get it, like, what, I don't understand what you're so trying to say. So, I, I, was I believe that when one goes out on a date, you know, there are certain expectations of both people there uh, as the one hosting you there are certain expectations of me so you know you're correct i had an uber black sent to her i had flowers okay. waiting for her uh, okay. i had chosen a very nice restaurant for the two of us uh, to go to uh, and she and her wisdom chose to wear a pair of awful robin jeans on a first date uh, at an okay. upscale restaurant and frankly, that is something that I cannot abide. Uh, it, it's just awful. It's tacky. It's it, it's a very low class mentality. Oh, okay. That, uh, oh, okay. okay, we have to start. You go ahead, Abby. She's on you the line. You canceled that date because of how I look. Are you kidding? I canceled that date because at a upscale restaurant, you chose to dress like we were going to McDonald's. Oh my. oh my god. I I thought something was wrong. I've been worried about you. I thought Oh my god. You just Wow. Wow. Look that is not look, I I, I, I obviously there. respect your choice of dress as you feel, but in the social circles oh, that I run in, I, that. I, I oh my can't god. be seen yeah, with that kind of that kind of oh, dress in a, in a public yeah. space. So you want a trophy life. You just, you only, you just want women to be seen and not heard. Is that what's going on here? Oh my God. No, I want a woman of quality, not somebody who thinks that we're dressing up for a third grade dance. Oh my God. Wow. Can I just say, Abby, and under normal circumstances, I would have already hung up on Lorenzo, but I enjoy listening to his ignorance. For some reason, the more you talk, Lorenzo, Whoa. Jeff, the more you talk, it's just it's 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 honestly Abby laughable and I think you did I think you dodged a bullet um I completely agree I feel like he was literally bored and like I don't know like you sound like you want a 1950s housewife and I just can't believe that you I, 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 I good think luck. you're not holding you're yourself like, up to the standard that you should there's a vast standard. difference between demanding somebody do like, well and, and past, demanding someone be subservient and the fact that you can't see the difference is that is so the shallow. reason why i chose not yeah. to contact you again okay oh wow. right. i'm gonna end this right wow. now because honestly it was it was 10 minutes of your time abby and we're just going deeper and deeper and things that he's saying that i'm just i'm okay lorenzo you were at least honest uh we wish you well looking for that whatever it is trophy wife or whatever you're looking for abby you totally dodged a bullet on this one uh i hope that the women listening can all avoid him now too because oh my god yeah okay wow. well listen abby keep us keep us posted on uh, on everything and i'm so glad that you called us and i'm glad we got your answer there you go no sweat off your back
<laughs> Thank you. Kiss 957 to me. All right. And now back to Waterbury. See everything changing around here. I didn't do this channel for that, for what you just heard. It's comedy, so why not? See how the city changing? This is the reason, the purpose of the channel, so you can see the changes of the city. This is Frank Street right here. It used to be an old factory there. And if I'm not mistaken, they're gonna rebuild the train track so it could go further now. They're working on it right here. And on West Main Street too. As usual thanks for watching make sure you guys like subscribe you can share comment whatever you feel like doing thank you peace